These sweet potatoes and apples were my favorite dish this Thanksgiving, and I think my family would agree. Everybody went back for seconds. The combination of the apple juice, the orange juice, the lemon juice, along with the agave nectar created an unexpected deliciousness um, that really made me want to eat the entire pan. Seriously. Preheat the oven to 425 and toss slices from three large sweet potatoes with one tablespoon of olive oil. Spread the potatoes on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper or if you have a silk hat like I do, use that. Try to make sure they're in a single layer and roast the potatoes for 40 minutes, turning them after 20 minutes. While the potatoes are roasting, during the last five minutes or so, go ahead and peel three golden delicious apples and slice them. Remove the potatoes from the oven and reduce the heat to 375. You're gonna layer the sweet potatoes and apples in a dish, alternating between them. So it's gonna be sweet potatoes, apples, sweet potatoes, apples, until you run out. For the part that makes this recipe delicious, you're gonna need one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one fourth teaspoon nutmeg, half teaspoon vanilla extract, a half teaspoon salt, one fourth cup plus one tablespoon of agave nectar, two teaspoons of lemon juice, a half a cup of orange juice, and a fourth cup of cold apple juice. In a medium bowl, add two tablespoons of the apple juice with the cinnamon and the nutmeg. Mix it all together until it's well combined. Add the agave nectar, vanilla extract, lemon juice, orange juice, and salt, and mix it all together. Pour the mixture over the apples and potatoes, and Bake it uncovered in the oven for 40 minutes. Every 10 minutes, you're gonna to need to baste it with the syrup. And this is a little difficult. I kinda of had to tilt the pan to get it. I think that you could definitely double the syrup recipe um, so that it'll be easier to baste and it'll be just even more delicious. <laughs> After 40 minutes, you're gonna have an amazing dish that you're going to want to eat as your main dish or dessert. This really is full of all kinds of deliciousness. If you try it, let me know how it turns out in the comments. Thanks for watching Vegan Cooking with Love. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And don't forget to subscribe so you get notified of new videos. And check out some of my other videos while you're here. See you next time. Nectar really created something delightful and it really made me want to eat the entire pan. <laughs>